Hey, we are at 20438 Highway 25, just south of the town of Franklinton. So if you know the area, I did say Highway 25. So this, this 2300 square foot mobile home can be commercial. It could be residential and commercial. This house is big enough and it has a really cool feature. I'm gonna show you that if you had a home office, you wanted to work from home, retail location, a professional service location, not a problem. Washington Parish, where we're located, is also pretty lax. As long as you're outside of city limits, you can pretty much do what you want in terms of what you put on the highway. Highway 25 is a growing highway. It's a growing area. This is on 0.89 acres. So when it hits 0.9, we always say up here, it's a country acre. And the land slopes that way. And there's a shed over there we'll check out later. We're also across the street, I'll show you in the backyard, or across the next lot over is a Dollar General. So quick and easy shopping if that's your thing. And if it's commercial is not your thing, it does make a great residence. So first, check out the long porch. A lot of the wood has been replaced on this porch. There's new soffit in the front. It is on a water well and the well equipment is new. That was replaced about a year ago. And here we are inside. So laminate floors. Now you're gonna see a couple things that, that need a little TLC. You might wanna change the carpet. Uh, you're gonna need a stove and that's okay. This is gonna be a great price for an acre on a demand road, really. And you see this open kitchen, a huge open kitchen. It's a dining area, and then here's your living room. And that's back to the front door. So you have a little counter seating here. And then you have this cool pantry. So you think it's just, you're gonna open up, it's gonna be shelves, and it's really, here's the light. It's really a walk-in pantry. And a pretty good size one, the boot. So on this side of the house, it is a split floor plan. By the way, wood burning fireplace, always a nice touch. This side of the house, this is the master suite. And it's pretty darn big. Like I said, change the carpet, easy stuff. And this suite has a sitting area as well. And here's the master bath. So you have two sinks, jetted tub, separate shower. And like I said, in my, I think I did a video literally two days ago. Whenever I'm doing a video, somebody's doing something. Uh, there's somebody doing some work around the house, just doing repairs. Walk-in closet. That's what that rumbling sound was. And then on the other side of the house, we have the other three bedrooms and a full bath. Okay, so here's bedroom number one of the other bedrooms. Closet. Bedroom number two. Here's this closet. This one's actually a little bit bigger. Here's the second full bath. So we had the master bathroom. Here's the other full bathroom. Yeah, so you're gonna have some spots uh, where the popcorn is gonna need to be re redone or scraped off either way. Laundry room.
Washer and dryer can stay. And then here's the fourth bedroom. This is just a nice feature. So we talked about maybe making it commercial earlier. You, you have an office space. Like this is, this is a huge room. It doesn't have to be a bedroom. It can easily be a playroom, an office, just another living area, depending on what you want to do with it. The property offers you some great flexibility with what you want to do and where it's located. Now, this... Being a fourth bedroom, this could be a, just a ginormous walk-in closet, or this could be a nursery, it could be a study, it could be another room here in the house. So this technically could be another room if you don't want to make this a bedroom, or you can make it two bedrooms, really, when it comes down to it. So that's the interior, 2328 living, plus your porch. Let's go check out the backyard and I'll walk towards the back of the property. So out here, we're on the patio. This is the brand new deck, new stairs. There's the Dollar General. So it, look, if that's your thing, great. And there's a little walkway and a gate that you can go up to it. This was an inherited property and it was an elderly lady that lived here. And she used to use that all the time. It was very convenient. And here's the back side of the house. So we're further away from the front door. It's just a nice little, actually a tranquil little spot back here. So you can set up a little, little table, maybe a couple little chairs, have a glass of wine or uh, some coffee in the morning. And the property comes back around. So, and then you see where the truck is. There's a two-car carport right there, like a Carolina carport. And here it is, just tremendous front porch, which is wonderful for just watching the world go by. You know, Franklinton is a growing, growing area. Uh, it really is. Especially during COVID, people started just getting out of the city. And they were skipping St. Tammany Parish and coming right to Washington. Up here... Your taxes are lower, your homeowner's insurance is lower, uh, and Franklinton's just, it's a nice community. Uh, and there's wonderful blueberry farms up here as well. So come check it out. This is a great house. By the way, I forgot to mention, storage shed for you. And you have some more land. Part of your property is also up this way as well. So come check it out. If you have an agent, let them know you want to see it. And if you don't have an agent, as I always say, let us know you want to see it. We're happy to show it to you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.